Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm just going to be doing a nice like springtime pinky eye look um, since it's like a couple days into spring and the weather's nice and pretty out. So I just felt in the mood to wear some spring makeup. So um, I already have all the rest of my face done. I'm just going to do my eyes for you guys. And I was thinking of using this um, Maybelline Lemonade Craze palette, which I bought like at the end of the summer last year. And like, this is a really good eyeshadow palette for being at the drugstore. So I hope it's still available and you guys can still get it because it's, it's really good. And it's got great colors for springtime. Um, of course, it's got like your neutral browns and stuff, but it's also got these like pinky colors, these this bright yellow, bright pink, some nice shimmery color. So it's just a really cool palette. So I'm gonna scoot you a little closer. And let's do an eye tutorial. Or maybe I'll just move closer to you. How about that? Mm hmm, mm hmm. You like being this close to me? It's kind of creepy, isn't it? Okay. So first I'm going to take a big, big, big fluffy brush. This is a Sigma E40 blending and I am going to tap into this shade, which is very well loved called Berry Ice. And I'm going to mix it with the Sherbert color right here next to it. And I'm just going to do that as like a transition color wash of color like in the upper crease area just something to blend into the um the brighter pinks into because i don't want bright pink like all the way up here so i'll just do a quick little wash of that about that foundation crease first. And I'm just doing little windshield wiper motions, big circles, just kind of slapping it on, blending it out. Not really precisely because it's a very light color so you can't really see it that well. It just gives you a little something, a little something, something. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take a little bit smaller of a uh, blending brush and this is a Morphe M511 and I'm gonna go into this um, coral color and it is called Coral Punch. I'm just gonna take the tip of that in my right here, tap that off and then I'm gonna blend that into the crease and keep it a little bit lower than what we were before. These colors need a little bit of building up. They take a little bit of time, but they're really nice if you have the patience to work with them. Like I wore this look all the time when I first got this palette last summer and I always got compliments on it. It's and it's really easy to do and it's not like bright and crazy, but it's still a nice spring pink look. It's a way to add a little color to you without getting a little bit crazy, you know? I'm not big on color, so something like this is perfect. So do the same thing over here, just little back and forth circle motions and just build that up through the crease. You don't have to be real precise. Like I said, this is a very easy look to do. Okay, and then I'm gonna take that first brush, not with the tissue, um, the first brush we use and just kind of go over and blend all that together just to make sure there's no lines or anything. And actually, I'm gonna build up this eye a little bit more because the other eye is still a little brighter. There we go, just so they're a little evener, more even. I don't know how to say that right. 
And then I'm going to take an even smaller blending brush. And this is a Luxie 205 ta tapered blending. blending. And I'm going to take this bright pink called Ice Pop. And I'm just going to tap a little bit of this on there. Let's see if you can see what I'm doing. Just like that. And tap off the excess. And I'm going to pop this in the outer V in the outer part of the lid. This color looks scary, but it's really like not that, like it's not that bright. With a big blending brush, it's gonna come off like a nice wash of a bright pink that you can build up, but I keep this color a little lighter. I don't like it too bright. So there's a little bit of pink on the outer, just like that. And do the same thing on this eye. Just keep it right in that outer V and on like the outer third of your eyelid. Don't bring it up too high into the crease, just kind of keep it right there on the outside. Okay, just like that. Then I'm gonna go back in with my last color I use and just make sure everything's nice and blended. And then next, I'm gonna take the color Strawberry Lemonade, which is this nice shimmery pink, light pink, and I'm just gonna use my finger with it. And we're gonna tap that on the rest of the lid and that whole inner part that we didn't put anything on yet. Just like that. <laughs> okay. So now we have this nice light look and then I'm gonna kinda go through and build it up a little more. I'm gonna take that brightest pink And just go over that outside a little bit. Make sure we still have that nice bright pop of pink out there. And then I'm also gonna take some of that bright pink and run it underneath on this outer part. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the um, more corally lighter pink color. And same thing, just kind of go through, re-blend everything. Make sure everything's got a nice little pop to it. And I'm gonna go under the eye as well. But more in the front and then blend it in with that uh, brighter pink color. Just like that. And then I'm gonna take my biggest blending brush again and just go back through and just blend everything together. Make sure everything looks nice, just like that. Okay. Then, what are we gonna do? I'm going to take this small little brush and I'm going to dip into the shade Sunnies, which is just like a matte white cream color. And I'm gonna pop that under the brow.
And then same brush, I'm gonna take the color main, wait, yeah, that one. Main squeeze, which is just like a straight up glitter eyeshadow. And I'm gonna pop that on the inner corner. You have to be careful with this color though. If your eyes are watering, it's gonna make like a clump of glitter. And I've done that numerous times. Okay, my camera cut off and I don't know where I was talking at, but I was just putting the inner corner highlight on. So hopefully all of that is still on film. God, I hope so. Okay, so next I'm going to put a little bit of eyeliner. Um, and I have, where is it? It's always at the bottom when you're looking for one. Okay, so this is a ColourPop um, eyeliner in Get Paid. It's kind of like a rose gold shimmery color. Just gonna pop that in the waterline. Just to give it a little something something. You can't really see it that much, but when the light hits it, it gives it a little like shimmer, whatever. It's cute, you know. And then, shoot. Okay, and then we're gonna pop on some mascara. So I'm just gonna use the Too Faced Better Than sucks put on a couple coats of this every time. Okay guys, that was it for today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me do this nice, pretty light pink spring makeup look. I think this will be really pretty to wear to like Easter or something where you're with your family but you don't want to be like full makeup. It's a nice, pretty look. So yeah. Give me a thumbs up, um, leave a comment down below, and if you are not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!